but my sister's always been so smart, so sure of herself. She was a follower, and most of the time a good one. Um, did what was asked, you know? The best student in my class. She always paid attention, always asked questions. Before or after the, before? Yes, the best student in my class. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to make up some bullshit about how saintly my sister was? You don't. Fuck you! My daughter was charismatic, persuasive. It was her Scorpio son. She was a people person. She could have gotten God to follow her to hell if she tried. It's a parking garage. And? It's free. Ever heard of it? How come I've never been up here? Because you play it safe. You need to let loose. Live a little. Maybe then you'll actually have something interesting to write about for your college essays. Unless you talk about how we met, of course. Yeah, well, I need to go to college. How else am I going to get Alex out of this shithole? And, well, it wasn't that interesting that we met in a Salvation Army bookstore. Well, I see it as a meet-cute. And your dad lost his job, but you got a new one. Well, my dad left and now we can't even afford my mom's bipolar meds for starters. Sucks ass. You know, my family is shit too. I mean, they are always on my ass about the dumbest stuff. Well, cheers to shitty family, I guess. Where the hell did you bring me? Well, I couldn't resist bringing you to my other special place. An opium den? Ricky! Nightmare. He's my dealer. Dealer? Ugh, relax. It's just Mary Jane. See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Are you asking me? Felt like I was walking into a lion's den. Shut up. You look fun. How's dad? Drunk as usual. How's mom? Manic as usual. She wants another job, but I keep telling her we can't afford it. No kidding. I've been wearing the same jacket for seven years. Um, Alex? Do your shoes still fit? What do you think? Last time mom bought me shoes, I was in the sixth grade and she was still on her meds. I'll fix this, I promise. Um, is is this Ricky? I'm a man of many names. Shoot. Um, okay, um, I, I was wondering if you were hiring. Hiring? This ain't no McDonald's, bitch. I'm in a really tough spot, okay, um, and, and I just need to make some cash, like, like under the table. This shit gets real, you know? But don't fuck this up, okay? This is a favor for Pearl. Thank you, thank you, I just, just call me when you need me. I have a car, but she only runs less than half the time, and thank God for the weather here. I'll... that blabbing shit on the job, capiche? Capiche. Fuck, we're not gonna get caught, right? Right. And it's that car right there, are you sure? I'm sure. What, what if it is isn't him? It is. Uh, pick your poison. Uh, do you guys, <clears throat> do you have e-cigarettes? Um, sure thing. Here you go. Thank you, sir. You bitch! Did you steal my tank top? Fuck you. Sorry to your stupid tank top. Kids, no fighting at the dinner table. We're not even at the table, Dad! I know you stole my shirt, Corey. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, you can leave this house every day and sleep at your friend's grubby ass apartment. See what I care what happens when you overdose and you vomit on the side of Central. Don't act like you know anything about me, my
my friends where I do my spare time. I'm worried about you, Mormon. You keep acting like you're some ghetto bitch from the war zone, but you can't get rid of who you are. You're just a spoiled little rich girl whose parents turned a blind eye. At least I'm looking out for you. I want out! Out of this fucking family! Go to your friend's house. Sweetie, mom's not even home yet. Have you ever wondered what this shit tastes like? What meth tastes like? I don't know. That shit is serious. Well, we're teenagers. We're supposed to do dumb shit and fuck it up, you know? I mean, shouldn't we at least sample what we're selling? <laughs> what you're selling, okay? You, not me. I'm, I'm just so fucking tired of this, you know? I, I've been delivering for weeks on top of studying for finals and trying to keep my stupid family together. I just, I need a break. I have weed and we can get some tequila. I don't know if you want to get wasted, but this, it's major league stuff. I, what if this is what I want though? Think about it then. Okay, and, and if you want harder shit, we can get snow. I don't know, but Kali, I just, I don't want you doing anything that you're going to regret down the line, okay? I've been on this train before. It never turns out how you think it will. I don't even care anymore. I, I, I have nothing left. I know that ain't true. Everything has a price. The price, however, isn't always money. All right. Well, as long as you're not taking the shit you're selling. Are you fucking scared? Yeah, fucking scared. Not in a good way. Are you good? No, fucking not. What the hell did we just do? <laughs> you want this? Have you done this before? Have you done coke before? Yes! Jesus fucking Christ! Chill out! You knew what you were getting yourself into! Get off me! We'll be back in a few. Are you bleeding? Shit, fuck. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm i gonna fucking puke. Blow tastes so bad. You never told me the first time you tried it. Yeah. I was at a party when I was younger. Uh, I call this shit. It's true. It's when I first met Ricky. Ricky? Yeah. Shit, I forgot how much of history you guys have. Yeah. A long complicated one. I'm worried about your friend, Pearl. What did Coley do this time? She's turning into you, whether you like it or not. Okay, look, I can't help that I found a friend who was interested in the same things as I am. This shit applies to, like, collecting stamps and watching chick flicks, not drugs. I can't let her be your collateral damage. Look, I tried to warn her, okay? You cannot control the natural course of life. Pearl, do not hang up on me. Bye, Ricky. I know you're using again, Pearl. Fucking answer me, you bitch. Shit. Happy birthday, Coley. <laughs> oh, okay. How is it that I'm the legal one and you can get me this hotel and cigarettes? I have my ways, oh wise elderly ones. And now I can buy all the six and poor you want. <laughs> You're doing that for me anyways. So, what's on the agenda for tonight? Do I have the goods for you? Glasses. Mm, just a little booster to get our evening kicked off. It is Tricentennial weekend, remember? So there are <laughs> going to be fireworks tonight and the morning after there are going to be a beautiful, beautiful display of ribbons of light across the Sandias. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm so lucky I'm a Taurus, just like Albuquerque, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Lauren, don't, don't tell me that's what I think it is. Can't, can't we just get wasted and call it a night? 
Do we have to do that? Don't worry, okay? Nothing bad is gonna happen to you, Co. <sighs> okay. But if we're gonna do this, then I, I need to know the truth. How you have experience with that. The truth. Okay. Um, I was at a party and I met this guy and his name was Jake. Basically, I was 14, okay, and he was a senior, so like, what kind of girl doesn't want attention from an older guy, right? Um, but basically, he was Ricky's brother, so his family ran pretty deep in the Sinaloa cartel, and he was a gang initiate and a junkie. And one day we were at this random house, like fucking around, and he OD'd. And, um, yeah. I was convulsing on the floor next to him, and when I woke up, I didn't feel his pulse. So I freaked out, and I screamed, and I called the cops, and I didn't know what else to do, so I just kind of ran. Um, and, <laughs> you know, that, that shit was fucking crazy. But it's okay, I mean, you're here, and I'm here, and we're okay, and nothing bad is gonna happen, all right? And, you know, you've never really lived until you've done speedball, anyway. You know, I, I think I'm okay with dying. It's not like I'm gonna get into college anyways. Don't say that, Co. You know what? I love you, Lauren, and I want this. See you on the other side, okay?